Hello everyone, this is Ben Collins, a senior Android developer here at Media Logic Group. I'm going to be showing a walkthrough of how to install Hamweather's Android Maps SDK to the Eclipse IDE. This walkthrough will also go through configuring the demo project that comes with it, which basically shows off some of the cool features the SDK has to offer. So let's get started. The first step is getting the code from our GitHub repository. This is located at github.com slash hamweather slash Aris Android Library. There are two options for obtaining the code from our repository. One would be to download a zip of the repository, which you then extract to your computer and then import that to Eclipse. The other would be to clone the repository itself. This option is a little better as you can stay up to date as the library changes just by pulling from master. In the demo, I will walk through cloning the repository to my local drive and then importing that to Eclipse. So now to show how to clone the repo onto my local C drive. So first you want to start off by clicking the copy to clipboard. This grabs the repository URL. Next I'll open up Windows Explorer. Um, for a git tool I am using tortoise git. Um, so through it I'll use git clone. This grabs the URL like mentioned and then I'll send it to walk through dash Aris Android lib. And here it imports it, clones it to my drive. And as you can see, I have my Aris Maps library release, which is the Aris Maps SDK. And then I also have Aris Demo, which is another project that shows off some code demos of what the Aris Maps and Aris Object Loaders libraries can do. So now that I've just cloned the files to my local drive. I will now go through importing it into Eclipse and open up my Eclipse with a fresh workspace. I'm going to go to File, Import, and it's an Android library project and an Android project. So we're going to Android, Android existing code. I'm going to browse to where I just cloned it to. So for me, it'd be on the C drive and the walkthrough. And make sure both of these projects are checked and click Finish. Now, as you can see, as I brought them in, there will be some errors even after building it. And this is because our Aris Maps SDK release relies on the Google Play services. So I'm going to import that as well, which you can do that by the same steps. And this will be located in your Android SDK. Uh, oops. Um, so for me, I have it in the IET bundle. So it has my clips and the SDK files are stored there. So under SDK, Extras, Google, Google Play Services, and then Lib Project will be the Google Play Services library project. So I'll import that too. Now I just have to link them all up. So under my Maps SDK, I'm going to click Properties, Android. I'm going to check that it is a library because the Aris Maps is a library project. I'm going to add Google Play Services to it, apply and OK. And then I'm going to link up demo to the Aris Maps SDK because it inherits it. So I'm going to right click again, go to Android again, and I'm going to add Aris Maps. And now that I've done all this, you can see that it compiles correctly. So the final step now in configuring your demo Aris project is setting up the Google Maps API. Um, we need this to access for our interactive maps demo which the Aris Maps SDK uses Google Maps. So for errors to display Google Maps tiles, we need to have an API key to access this. So if we go to console.developers.google.com, as you can see as I have for mine set up here, um, we need to make sure that Google Maps Android API version 2, that we have that status on. And then we also need to create a API key for it. Um, so under create new key, Android key, and to create this, we will need our SHA-1 key, which we can obtain through this command line key. And we'll need our package name of our project. So if I go back to Eclipse, go to our Android manifest. Um, our package name is right here, so we'll need that part. Um, also, instead of just using command line, you can also go to Android build. And here you can have your SHA-1 key from your debug key store. So we'd copy that and copy that. And we paste it here with a semicolon between them and click create. And that would create an API key like I have here. So now I'm going to copy this API key and under the metadata tag, 
for com Google Android Maps version 2 API key, I would paste it in there. So that is the last step for configuring the demo Ares project. You can now go ahead and launch it to your devices or emulators. If you have any questions for this demo, please visit our support site. And thanks for watching.